exciting um, making four events, so just get ready for state and it's coming up fast. So. It's weak. Yeah, it's hard to like train for like the distance and the sprints, so like I've just been training more for the hurdles since that's like my most competition at state in that event. So my goal is just to do the best I can and whatever it is, whatever it is, um, I would like to get a PR on the hurdles because I still haven't got my PR okay. from freshman year, so I still want to do that. So that's one of my goals. Okay, we'll go to Alex here and right behind her uh, in both the 3,000 and 1,500. Uh, I guess just take me through both those races. Would you just stay with her as much as you can? Um, well, this season was kind of a rebuilding year for me, and Rebecca and I haven't run many races together this year like we did freshman year. So, yeah, this is the first meet we've run both of them together. So, um, she just took out, took it out slower, and I followed her, and then she surged, and I just stayed, stayed, tried to pick it up a little bit, but mainly tried to stay where I was. So. I know you're not guaranteed to be in either of these next week, but I'm going to guess the times will be uh, pretty good there. Um, if you are to make it in one or both of those events, is it just kind of the same thing? And I'm sure you're getting some, you get some good confidence from being able to stay with her for a while. Yeah, definitely. I'm just looking for some consistency, hopefully to drop my times a little bit more. I dropped them a whole, a whole lot tonight from this season's best. So uh, just looking for some consistency and some good times next week. Yeah, I've only cleared it like four times now this year, so pretty proud, glad. Well, I guess take me through those jumps. I mean, what what worked for you that you were able to get over 5-3 tonight? Um, I was just having a good night, so hopefully have that again next week. And then the sprints, you win the one and the two, uh, which you've done about every meet you've been in this year. Uh, kind of tough going into the wind. You feel okay with how things went? Um, I wish they went a little bit better, but the wind was really strong. So goals next week in those three? Um, my 200, I want to bring that down to like a 26 something and hopefully have a good start on the one. Okay. High jump? I mean, what can, if you get to 5-3 or a little more again, what can that get you? Um, hopefully second. I want to go for first and get 5-4. Um, yeah, I felt good um, before the race. My dad just told me to make sure I get out and get a good start, so I really focused on that. And I think I did pretty well at that. I feel like I got out of the blocks pretty quick and got to that first hurdle. So then I just tried to attack all the winds in between and not the, that little wind slow me down. Uh, how, how is this? I mean, it's chillier than we've been used to these last couple of weeks. you got pretty good wind in your face, too. Uh, what, I guess, what's the strategy in going in weather like this? Um, I just really try not to think about it too much. The wind always makes me a little nervous, obviously, because I'm trying to three-step them all, and sometimes near the end I have to stride out really bad to get that. But um, I just try not to let the wind affect it too much, just kind of go right into it. We're also coming right off the 4 by 2 You guys won that pretty handily. Uh, take me through that. I know you brought it home there. Um, our 4 by 2 we've been working really hard, working on our handoffs a lot, and I think they can still improve after tonight. But um, it just felt good to get first in that and know we were going to state for sure in an event before the hurdles, before my 100-meter hurdles. It just really gains your confidence for the rest of the meet, I think. I heard everyone telling me that they were right behind me over by the backstretch. I heard the boys' coach say it, and I was kind of scared at first, and then I was like, wait, they would have to run really fast because Aaron gave me the baton, and we were really far ahead. There's definitely a lot more people here than there would have been at any other place. So that was definitely good because there's a lot more people cheering for us and not everyone else. So that definitely helped. What, the 4x4 go okay that, that you thought? Yeah, because we didn't really have any competition to push us for time. So that was good. Um, it was a little closer than we thought. I came out first and kind of got us up there. And then Jasmine was a big pull through and she pulled us away. Then Aaron came out and she kept us in the lead. and then. Gabby had an amazing kick at the end to pretty much win it for us. So, And then, uh, I know you've run some sprints. You've run more some distance stuff. Uh, what's that, kind of balancing that out? Um, well, at the beginning of the year, I was like dreading 800s and anything longer than a 200. But <laughs> practicing and having these guys next to me makes it so much easier. I would have liked if I was farther ahead at the end because that was super nerve-wracking. But... It was good to win. I guess it was more exciting for everybody else. What's this like to go to state in multiple events? It's awesome. Like last year was awesome just going in the 4 by 8 and now we have three relays going and that's just, it's going to be a lot of fun. Three relays, I mean is this something you, you girls feel you can score some points in and do some damage up there? I do think so because we're like in top 10 in all three of them. Top so five. Top 5. <laughs> <laughs> we're do, we're pretty, sitting pretty well right now. He told me about the time difference and okay. I, was, I, I mean I'm still worried, you never know what can happen. But I was going out there for time and hit the home stretch and the wind. It hurt a little bit, but I finished all right. And then we just come off the 800 uh, second, 
but second to top him, who yeah. might just win the state title in that event. Uh, I mean, you overall feel pretty good about how that 800 went? Yeah, I do. I feel good. My goal is to get second. It feels great. I mean, we came out, I got done what I want to my individual events, and we did better than expected, and I realized so really happy with how it came out tonight. Ran the two and the four tonight individually. Uh, you feel you did okay in both of those time-wise? Yeah, I mean, with the, as much wind as there was, it was hard to get a fast time, so I got where I wanted to be, and I got to state. That's what I wanted to do. What are the goals on those two events in at state next week? I just want to be in, try to get in the top eight for both. And then relays wise, uh, I mean, I know that four by one. I mean, I know you guys have some pretty high expectations there. Same kind of thing with four by four, or what can we do here? Four by four, we didn't even really know if we we're gonna make it or not. So that's just that's an accomplishment in itself. And uh, state, I don't know how we're looking to do. Just beat some teams. Okay. Four by one, is it kind of maybe get to finals, or what can you think you guys can do in the four by one? That's probably our first goal. Yep, get that to finals. We knew we had a good shot from the beginning of the year. We planned out our district and knew. We were towards the top, so we just tried to run a clean race and get in on time. Uh, I know we talked when we talked last week, kind of had goals, what you guys wanted to do at State, but uh, team-wise, I mean, you guys are already in on the 4 by 2 You have some other stuff that, that's in, or at least pretty close. Uh, what are you guys team-wise thinking you can do up in Des Moines next week? Uh, we're looking for a top three finish. Uh, we got six or seven events that we think can score pretty high, so looking for at least third. And that, from your perspective, I mean, just the hurdles, I, I mean, I assume we're looking for 20 points there? Yeah, definitely. It feels really good. Uh, first year doing track, so it feels really nice to qualify in the first year doing it. So. Uh, it took me overall, uh, I knew that Fremont Mills has a couple kids, and I knew one of them had pretty good sprint speed. I know your coach was just kind of screaming that at you that, that last 800 or so. Uh, what, what was kind of your strategy through the race then? Well, my strategy, initially I was going to use them as a windbreak, but they boxed me in, so I had to get out quicker than I expected. So I just made a lot of moves to see if they'd follow and just had to keep making them since they kept following them. So. Uh, this is pretty close to your best time too, wasn't it? Yeah, this was my best time. Okay. And then goals for state, I mean, what, what are you looking to do there? I'm just looking to do as well as possible. Uh, I've never been there, so I don't know what to expect. So just looking at um, Shot put kind of was, was kind of random beginning of the season. I was messing around at the shot put and told coach that I was going to throw a shot, and then I threw it, and then he said, all right, you can probably do some things and that. And I was, just kept working on it from there. Then, so, then the 100 is just kind of what I've been doing all the time. Yeah. Uh, what was that like in the 100 today? I mean, obviously, uh, some pretty fast kids here. You had to go into the wind. I mean, and I know, understand your start wasn't what you wanted it to be, but how were you able to catch everybody then? Um, my starts aren't usually the best, so I'm usually catching people, and that's my favorite thing to do is run down people. And then uh, just go back to that shot put a little bit. I mean, not having thrown it much, I mean, is that something you've had some – anybody giving you tips or how have you been able to, to get that far? Is it just a talent and you're able to throw it that far? Um, I used to do the junior high shuffle, just okay. stand sideways and just throw it. But then I – coach worked with me on the glide, and then I finally got that down, so it helped a lot. What are the goals at State for those two? Try to place in both of them. When we started off, I knew it was going to be the normal three that was at conference. I didn't know what Riverside had to bring. And I knew that if with Josh Hanning and Dakota Moss, I knew he'd be close between all three of us. It was a conference, so I kind of stuck back there, scanned them, looked at it. They're both great runners. Thought, okay, I'm going to have to win this at the end. I'm not going to – with the win tonight, I knew I wasn't going to get it at the beginning of the race. Talk goals a little bit for next week, especially in that mile. What are you looking to do up there in Des Moines? Uh, I'm shooting to run – want to run right around a 4.45 or so. I mean, it took me forever to bust a five minute. Now I'm running consistent under five, which is kind of nice. Even with wind, I think I could have ran a, under a 450 tonight if there wasn't this wind. And I'm just shooting to place, hopefully medal.